from today, free COVID testing will only continue in England for certain groups uh, with others who think they've got coronavirus, simply told to stay at home. Uh, long story short, basically, if you do have to pay for these tests, they're going to cost you about a fiver. Let's just get to the point. Ben Habib, should we still be testing ourselves for COVID? Uh, absolutely not. I mean, we started this programme discussing, you know, the massive ills that we're now facing as a result of our policies towards COVID during lockdown and so on. And we've just got to get over COVID. COVID is now part of the spectrum of diseases with which we now have to live. And that's my final word on it, frankly. I've got nothing else to say. Turn our back on COVID and get on with life. Jeevan? Well, I think we do have to learn to live with COVID. Actually, I think we want to see some testing around. I think we're talking about it in the healthcare sector. I think also the education sector. We're seeing huge kind of absences of teachers because part of the problem is the good news is we can live with COVID now. The good news is it doesn't kill nearly as many people now, but it's still a very infectious disease that does kind of make people in and stops them going to work. So actually making sure there are some tests available to stop it spreading so widely isn't a bad use, but also... Look, there is a good news here. And the good news is we're kind of leaving this pandemic after two years of going through it. And I don't think anyone here enjoyed that particular period very much. No, we did not. Ali? Look, um, at the moment, it's a bit of a raw situation uh, because I've just lost a cousin to COVID uh, very suddenly. And it's, it's, all, it's all extremely raw at the moment. Uh, so I don't believe it's a flu. Uh, I do believe it is more potent. And I also feel that it affects people in different ways. I mean, one of my colleagues is extremely young, fit, completely healthy. And she's been really badly affected uh, with this, uh, uh, by this for, for months now. It's taking a long time to recover. Look, I do think that testing in general is still sensible and a good idea. I do not believe that the government should have to pay for that unless you're in the NHS and you're mixing with people who are vulnerable on a, on a day-to-day basis. Then I think there should be some support there. But generally speaking, I don't think the government should be funding COVID tests for the rest of the population uh, indefinitely. I think, I think we need to take responsibility again for ourselves. I think we're now moving from pandemic to endemic status, although case numbers are rising. Thankfully, hospitalization rates uh, and deaths in particular are not, uh, not, not, despite what I've just said about my, 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 my cousin, um, they're not thankfully. Uh, but I do think we need to be mindful and we need to sort of move on. But uh, I don't think the government should fund it, but I do think there is a place still for testing in society.